What if I told you guys that there is a man out there who has insights into the higher intelligence of China, the inner workings of the mob, the blueprints for the most in-depth, secretive aspects of business, finance, politics, and espionage? You guys would probably think I'm talking about some James Bond type 007 secret service spy, but no. I'm talking about someone much, much, much more powerful and dangerous. A YouTuber, actually by the name of Jake Tran. Some say he's crazy, others say he's just a guy with a lot of thoughts. But two things are for sure, he makes some spectacular content and he's got some rogues gallery of enemies. Here's to list a few. Let's hack into Jake's mind and figure out. Is he crazy, or is he just bored out of his mind with a lot of wild thoughts and time on his hands? Let's crack the code. You're a professional criminal who's only loyal to one thing, the holy dollar. Jake Tran is a YouTuber that specializes in cinematic level video essays on many intriguing topics. Some too intriguing though, as let's say he has built some powerful enemies. A lot of videos on China, crime, war, politics, finance, and technology. And each video delves into some pretty crazy ideas and thoughts that sometimes see a bit too out there for a regular individual to know. That's how much detail he has in them. But that's what makes Jake who he is, and that's what makes his content so marvelous. The in-depth analysis and schematics of various controversial topics that make it seem like he is or was a part of the things he analyzes. Jake makes it seem like he has a first-hand account of whatever he talks about, be it the drug cartels, mega churches, or conning. But so far, that sounds pretty standard for a great YouTuber. He creates spectacular high quality content and he's a unique relatable personality behind the brand. That's why he has 400,000 subscribers with a bright future ahead. Seems pretty calm, but hold your horses, there's more to it. Sure, he does his research, a lot of research as a matter of fact, and sure, he draws ideas from that research, but at times. He goes on some insane runs and tangents on some of the, let's say, not very legal topics. Some runs and tangents that make you question as a viewer whether Jake is talking from experience. The third trait of a great con man is research. After all, a lot of the time you're gonna need social security numbers, IDs, and other intimate data on people. Don't get me wrong, research can give you a lot of information. But Jake's able to masterfully put you, the viewer, into the mind of these characters. You know, con artists, Chinese leaders, bank robbers, corporate spies, etc. No amount of research can do that. No amount of research can create that level of visualization, imagery, and immersion that Jake always seems to have. The way his mind processes these situations and relays them to his viewers is unheard of. No matter what racket you pick, every scam has two red flags. You want to ask the mark for money now, usually in an untraceable way? Or you want to ask the mark for personal intel, date of birth, mother's maiden name, social security number, etc. Could Jake be speaking from first-hand experience? Look, I honestly do not know. That's the mystery behind him, and I don't want to assume anything, nor do I want to blow his cover if he truly practices what he preaches, because I and 400,000 other people love his content, and he won't be able to create more new content if he's locked up in a federal prison. You can dismiss the knowledge as a lot of research, but some of the things he says in his videos are so in-depth and descriptive that I honestly don't think it's research. It seems more like experience and first-hand knowledge. That level of immersion into a topic is uncalled for. It seems crazy. I mean, look at all of these topics he's covered over his reign on YouTube. I mean, come on guys. That's a shit ton of videos on some illegal, dark and secretive stuff. Now, he can do his share of research and get the inside scoop through connections, but to have that sheer number of videos on some controversial and many times illegal things, and to be that immersive, you gotta be passionate about it, you gotta find joy in it, and Jake does, clearly. 
That's why he consistently posts each week, and that's why his channel is consistently growing. He finds joy in creating this type of content, especially content on the dark side of the business and political world. He actively seeks that dark and secretive content. He wouldn't spend 20 plus hours creating each and every video if he wasn't passionate about the topics. He has that unique level of bottled enthusiasm seeping right below the surface whenever he speaks. So you're in need of some quick cash, except you run out of options to make money legally. No one's hiring, the working man is a sucker, the pay sucks, or whatever other stories you tell yourself. And it makes you question his normalcy when that enthusiasm is present when talking about the Russian Mafia, the Italian Mafia, conning people, bank heists, and the questionable antics of China. He loves these controversial topics, he lives off of them. So Jake finds joy and is passionate about these secretive, dark, and many times illegal topics based on his bottled enthusiasm whenever he speaks. He actively seeks information based on the sheer mass of detailed videos on his channel, and he comes off as experienced within each topic, as if he's simply telling another story from the other day, which extends way beyond any research that can be done. I mean, hear this out, this is crazy and quite funny. His videos have gotten so descriptive and accurate that he's had to start writing satire in his video titles and intros so that YouTube doesn't send the feds knocking on his door. That's how intensely immersive his videos are on these controversial topics, and his enthusiasm adds more fuel to the flame. People are enthusiastic about sports, movies, technology, things of that nature. Meanwhile, Jake lives off of the tips and tricks of conning, lobbying, espionage, war, the mafia, etc. To even find the passion and enthusiasm in immersing yourself into that content and learning the tips and tricks of the trade and then sharing it to the world in a video that takes 20 plus hours to make? That's crazy if I've ever seen it. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if China makes Jake disappear like they seem to do to everyone else who speaks out against them, just from the sheer number of videos he's done exposing them and the amount of detail and accuracy in each one. So what's up with Jake Tran? Is he crazy for being passionate about and knowing so much about so many controversial and many times illegal topics? Or is he just bored out of his mind with wild thoughts roaming around and a lot of time on his hands that allows him to research like hell to create that immersion in his videos? Well, my final verdict is that Mr. Jake Tran is crazy. But hear me out here fully so that you understand my full point. He seems to know a bit too much about some questionable topics and he seems to be very passionate and enthusiastic about it. He seems to be crazy about it. I mean anyone who's not a billionaire or a whole country as a matter of fact that publicly speaks on and leaks the secrets of China, the mob, universities, the US government, banks, Russia, North Korea, and that's only naming a few, is crazy in my opinion, is crazy in my books. But hey, crazy can be good and crazy can be bad. Steve Jobs was crazy and look at what he created. Elon Musk is crazy and now look at what he's doing. Even people like Quentin Tarantino and Stephen King are crazy, but look at all of the masterful stories they have crafted. If Jake's craziness is what got him 400,000 subscribers and is what allows him to produce spectacular content, keep it up my G. Get more crazy. Just don't get caught by anyone on your many business ventures if you truly practice what you preach. Craziness has two sides, like I said. It can be good, and it can be bad. And everyone has a bit of craziness in them. Everyone is passionate about something. And everyone has two options when it comes to how to use and implement that craziness and that passion. You can either create, innovate, and improve, or you can destroy. And clearly, Jake is using his craziness and his passion to create and improve something of value to people, and it's truly spectacular. The way he's able to immerse himself into these insane topics, really grasp out all of the information, and then spend 20 plus hours creating a video that he then relays to his viewers, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's insane, it's inspirational to see, and it's spectacular work that he does. Now what does this video mean for you, the viewer? Well, if you guys remember, in my Patrick Bet David video, which if you haven't watched already, you can check it out in the top right corner right now, and basically the main gist of the video was that it's all about consistency. 
Patrick uploaded to his YouTube channel for eight years straight. That type of consistency, that type of dedication allowed his channel to grow into what it is now, the number one channel for entrepreneurs. Now Jake's story adds a little twist to that because sure, he's consistent, but he doesn't post every single day. He posts once a week, but that one video that he posts every single week is of extremely high quality, is of cinematic level quality, and it's able to negate the fact that he uploads only once a week. That's why he's able to grow, because he's choosing quality over quantity. You can upload to your channel every single day, but if you're not providing value, if you're not providing high quality content that people want to watch, you're not gonna find much growth. So of course, consistency is key, but Jake shows you that quality can also take you very far. You don't need to upload every day, as long as you're providing high quality content. Now of course, if you guys watch this video and you watch my other videos, you could see that my videos gain heavy inspiration from Jake Tran because he inspired me to start a YouTube channel. He inspired the way I edit my videos, the way I create my videos. So a big shout out to him. I highly recommend his channel if you have not checked it out yet. It's really spectacular, very intriguing, engaging, wonderful stuff. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Shout out Jake Tran once again. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all found extreme value in it. And if you did, I would appreciate it if y'all could smash the like button for the YouTube algorithms, of course, as that will help me out in providing more spectacular content for you guys. It lets me know that what I'm doing is something that you guys want, and I'm gonna keep providing more of it. So please, smash that like button. On top of that, I would appreciate it if y'all could subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified. New videos are coming twice a week on the topics of business, finance, and politics, so stay tuned. Great things are coming. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. I really appreciate it. Shout out Jake Tran, and I'll see you guys in the next video. My name's Rohan Shetty. This is Favi Talks. Peace.